Okay, thanks. Uh, would you like to uh, introduce yourself? And thank you for waiting. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I just um, went from my office and uh, I was running like a flash. <laughs> because, <laughs> oh, no. It's a bit late. Um, yeah, my name is Anatoly. Uh, I'm from Russia, St. Petersburg. And currently I'm working in outsource studio names uh, Trace Studio. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working uh, about one year in this studio. Before uh, Trace Studio, I worked in uh, Wargaming St. Petersburg on uh, World of Warships. Oh, nice. Uh, so a little bit was, of experience uh, then. Yeah, yeah, it was, um, uh, I worked on ships for, uh, I think, four years, maybe. Holy cow, okay. And then I was uh, started uh, to work in uh, Trace Studio as an environment artist. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm a character artist. <laughs> Holy cow, okay, so you're going quite broad with, uh, with the stuff you're working on. Yeah, yeah. Is there... Um... Okay, so first in your portfolio, you don't have any of that stuff in here. Is there a reason for that? Uh yeah, studio don't uh, give me permission to post. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. Uh, I have um I, I think six ships. Mm -hmm. Six giant ships. I which I worked on uh, for years on that. Yeah. And and I can't show it. Dude, that's crazy. Are, are you yeah, not even yeah. allowed to show like official screenshots that they've posted online? Um, maybe, but uh, I need to find this. I I, I send the paper, mm -hmm. um, old rights, uh, all co copyrights. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what my, my English is so uh, so bad. <laughs> oh no, you're you're doing great. But so um, okay, so you sent in like a, a request. To be able to use no no, no. I, I can't uh, even uh, send a request oh my gosh okay it's uh copyrights uh, um totally uh, in uh, wargaming hands wow okay i i can't even uh, say i made this what <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay all right well yeah i do, do you have them in your about uh, page at all? Yeah, yeah, I have. Uh... Okay, cool. I mean, as long as you got that in there, um, I have uh, some uh, projects uh, which I work it in Trace Studio, but um, I waiting for it released. Yeah, dang, that's crazy. I yeah, I don't know, I don't know. That is, it's a, um, it's a pretty. I haven't heard it that extreme, but it's a pretty common practice to uh, around the time that the game is shipping right that the uh studios will uh have you have everyone take screenshots of what they're working on or what they mm -hmm. want to post in their portfolios and then it goes into a, an internal pool and actually gets approved for being posted online that's uh right. that's yeah, pretty normal just... but i have not heard of it being blocked all the way to the point where you just don't have access to your own work and you can't say that you worked on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was shock for me when I asked for it. Uh, they said uh, you can't. Yeah, that's intense. You, man. you just can't. It's ours. It's our ship now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> was that an intentional quote? <laughs> I came from a movie, man. I swear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, if we if we look at your portfolio, though, I mean, I think like your portfolio does not show the quality that you're you're currently at. That's my assumption. Um, uh, mm, the last work is uh, sneakers. Is a sneaker? Mm -hmm. Is that a scanner? Is that like a? Yeah, no, no, no. It was uh, totally made from scratch. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, this uh, you nailed this. Uh, hang on, I need to share the screen with you. I just realized this. Um, I, I I see it in, on stream. Yeah, is the delay um, not too bad? No, yeah, it, it's delay. Uh, I think in five seconds, maybe, or, well, or two. Well, the material on the back of the shoe, you've nailed it, man. Because I know exactly what that material looks like. I just <laughs> like I remember shoes that look like this, and was like, dang, dude, 
Like, I don't know. I don't know how someone can wear a shoe with this material. On it. <laughs> this is the part where you tell me this is your shoe. And then I just insulted your, your shoes. <laughs> um, no, it's no, super just, cool. I just, saw it, I just saw it in the Pinterest when I gathering references for my uh, character, pers personal character. Yeah. And uh, I, I saw it and, well, well, I, I want these sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I mean, so I'm looking at it and the uh, the roughness values are, are pretty on point. There's some areas where... Uh, Thickness wise, it feels a little thin. Is this just all, was this ZBrushed at all? Or is this just like, what was the workflow for this? Um, it was a uh, base mesh and blender, then uh, uh, ZBrush sculpt, sculpt mm -hmm. and then painter. Right, because I guess the only things to watch out for are like where the angles become really uh, hard. Like right here, it, it changes mm -hmm. the angles really quickly. And it feels like, um, it feels like the shoe manufacturer would cut it in a way where it would be really clean, right? And mm -hmm. you can see a little bit of like what looks like the modeling um, that you, that you've done. And you said this low poly. Was there an, what was the reasoning behind making it low poly? Was it just the challenge, or was it like? Uh, no, I just um, making the personal character, personal work, three mm -hmm. D character for. Uh, I also making a adventure game. In solo, oh man, uh, and, yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it will be a main character for it, my game. Cool, is that the one that's here? Uh, Journey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's uh we'll finish this one real quick and then, yeah. So, Muck was saying in the in chat that the um, the AO maybe was a little strong, but uh. I think other than that, a lot of the issues that I'm seeing are just for the fact of like the poly count is is limiting the way that you're having some mm -hmm. of the shapes, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it looks it still looks pretty cool. Uh, what what's the reason for the low poly? You said uh, it's it just... uh, for, it's for game, right? Okay, because you can go. I guess for shoes, if it's a whole character, yeah, yeah. You, you probably don't want to go crazy with the shoes. <laughs> 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 unless it was like a skateboarding game right then you would be really focusing on the those the resolution of the shoes uh, um, shoes and the uh, skateboards <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh and the uh, camera straight on the skateboard right <laughs> oh my gosh this i mean so yeah so you're doing you're doing character work this is pretty nice man dude i love that watch <laughs> Oh, and you made a so you're making weapons as well. How, what's uh, your what's your process for that? Um, I watched the tutorial from uh, Yogen Petro mm -hmm. uh, with um, the brush, boolean, uh, um, and uh, dynamic workflow. Mm. Yeah, that's a. I mean, that's a pretty good. Uh, it's a good process was, where, uh, where you just use the shapes and you boolean them out. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, really fun to make this Glock. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. It's yeah, like making, really well uh, executed. Uh, making guns, I think it's, um, I don't know, it's really fun to make. Yeah, yeah. So you're right now your portfolio is quite broad. Like you, you said you were working on ships, and then you've got uh, this weapon. You're building a character. You're you're making shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Did, what what are you uh, what are you gravitating towards the most? Like, is it is it like you want to make your own games by yourself? Is that the idea? It's it's a it's a big and for, a very far far dream. <laughs> open, yeah. Uh, open studio. Yeah. Oh know. man, dude, <laughs> that's awesome though. Be, it's it's cool like, to have uh, that ambition. Hideo, be like uh, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was I going to say about that? I mean, so a lot of the times, like, with the flow of, like, how people get into games and then work in the industry, a lot of the times, at least from what I've noticed with AAA artists, is everyone gets into AAA, they get really specialized, and then um, I would say about 10 to 15 years in, 
they start to have this itch to create their own company. And I'm noticing it with people around me without naming anyone, uh, that they're just, they want to do it. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's becoming, it eventually will get to a point where you can't ignore it anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, your ambition is shared among like many, many artists. So, uh, even though you feel like it's far away, that will sneak up on you faster than you realize. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you're enjoying what you're doing. And that that's like one of the main reasons I wanted to talk to you about the, um, with you being so broad into the stuff that you're working on. Like what, what are you, uh, what are you gravitating towards the most other than making a studio? Um, no, basically now, uh, about a half year, I just, half year ago i just tried to make a character art and i uh, pretty love it and uh now i working as ch character artist in mm. our in my in studio yeah i mean that's you're in such a unique position where you get to also practice and expand your skill set uh yeah, yeah. by working on character stuff so i mean if it kind of sounds like you want to be a character artist, but you're you're a 3D artist, so you can kind of do it, everything in that sense. Um, your character work, and especially the gear and like the hard surface stuff, like with the gun and the these this headset and and the shoes, but really the hard surface stuff is super uh, well executed. There's like lots of details that it looks like you're you're looking at, um, which is how stuff is constructed and put together. Um, yeah, I, the, this trim sheet practice piece I found really interesting as well. Um, I didn't scroll all the way through it though. Let me see if, uh, it wasn't a well. test assignment for a studio. Oh, really? Yeah. So when you say it's a trim sheet, is it like, like how much of it is like, I don't understand the way that the, cause you don't show the trim sheet at all. How yeah, did you? Because, how did you set because, it up? Because uh, I, I don't want to show it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's the worst trim sheet ever you've ever seen. I well, <laughs> I guess I'm just curious, like how much of this is from the trim sheet, and like, is there a baked normal? Like, is there a baked normal for the entire asset, or is it just like? Uh, uh, no, it, it's a meat poly asset, and uh, ah, okay, um, yeah. Hinges baked was baked uh, and um, K hole stuff. Yeah. Then uh, I don't know, but like uh, bevel profile. I don't know how to say on the wooden stuff. Yeah, you're just doing a bevel on the edges to see the edge of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And uh, a bit of uh, wear and tear. Yeah. Ah, super interesting. Yeah, it's a, uh, I, I don't know. I just, I really like the material. And I always wonder like uh, when, when this is the workflow, like how you approach, like if you were to try and make it look like a bake, what, how would you, cause you have, even though it's a trim sheet, you're doing pretty good with the roughness variation and, and like the breakup that's happening in there. Maybe the metal could be a little different from the wood. And same mm -hmm. with the, the keyhole, but, um, yeah, it feels, it feels quite nice. Uh, I'm trying to think of, this is one of those situations where like that, that second UV set to like, uh, add a mask. So that way you can add unique information in there as well. Really comes in handy because then you can use the trim sheet and then have the unique mask on top to kind of break up the surface. And then you don't even mm -hmm. pick up on the trim sheet. But I don't see a trim sheet at all in here, which is really nice. Um, so nice, nice job on that. Uh, the test was fa was failed. <laughs> did it really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe it's maybe it's because it's so uniform, right? But I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know how you get away from you like that uniform look if it's a trim sheet, unless you use like a mask approach on top of the trim sheet. Um, and I mean, maybe they were just, th that was the rule. 
you just had to do trim sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a intro. What is this? What is this thing? It's a paint robot. It's a paint robot. Yeah, it's a, a it's a half of a paint robot. It was I don't the think same I've ever too. seen that. <laughs> <laughs> this was a test as well. Yeah, yeah. It was Did you a, pass it was this a, one. A, uh, nope. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, right. three years ago mm. in the in the studio which I work it w working now. Mm -hmm. Um, if you saw the boiler thing, yeah, this in guy. My portfolio, yeah. Uh, it's um i don't know the word i passed this test yeah. this is the test too <laughs> and uh, i passed this right yeah i mean Fire, there's a lot of technical it... <laughs> there's a lot of technical <laughs> modeling in here so did you keep applying to the same place yeah yeah, yeah. oh man for three years in a row <laughs> did i i i did that with a studio as well and they they failed me three times and I'm like, all right, well, third time's a charm. I'm not going back there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I moved to Sweden. <laughs> um, I mean, this asset looks really cool. It's funny because initially it looks really simple, but like if you were to just put rust on it, it wouldn't look as good as it does here. Like I think you're, there's a lot of information that you're applying on the surface of the rust to give it the logic, right? Like the, like the dripping and the, like the patterns that are showing up around like the edges and then at the base it's it's darker and more saturated um and then all of the modeling that goes into these like smaller pieces which often get replaced which is why i imagine these ones are pretty pretty clean just a guess anyways um no this looks cool man i'm surprised you don't have any uh close-ups of like these areas is there, a, is there a reason for that? No, it's uh, too low poly. I don't think it's need to show the close up of it. Yeah, because there's just, it seems like there's complexity there. But. Mm, no, just a bit. I, I don't know. Yeah, That's this so area interesting is really nice. to show this, to make yeah. a, a separate shot for a close up of this thing. This is just a dupes. Yeah, <laughs> so just a lot of duplicating. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, super nice, man. And the weld pattern on the on the body itself is really good. Um, yeah, I mean, you have a vehicle in here as well. This was um, an old. This is five world. years ago as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a journey. If you remember, it was a challenge in, at uh, Art Station. Oh man, five years I ago. Start, yeah, yeah. I was started uh, to making this um, for a scene for a challenge but mm -hmm. uh, i i moved to st petersburg from my small town to yeah. working in uh wargaming and dude this looks this, this looks stuff. great i mean this is again kind of showing your um the understanding that you have of a very technical like schematic style uh understanding of of this type of stuff which is why i think you're you seem to be gravitating towards like so characters sounds cool uh, and you're enjoying that but it seems like your hard surface skills and your vehicle skills are quite high uh which might be because of the wargaming stuff right uh no no uh, it's uh, i think it's because of uh, before uh wargaming i was uh, making uh mods mods for a street legal racing game it's what? a racing game yeah very old game Dude, that's crazy. And but uh, I mean, I've, you're... I've started I've started learning 3D because of uh, mods for uh, right. street Lego racing. <laughs> so awesome, dude. You're like street Lego racing got me to this. Like <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Got me to the AAA project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I mean it, it is really impressive. I think uh where let's see here. So I mean like this, this one actually um, feels off to me. And I think it's just the way that the materials are reading to each other. But then like the boiler looks really good. 
the the trim sheet practice actually looks really good as well. Your hard surface understanding and actually even the character is um, looking pretty well done um, so far. Like you're still, it looks like you're still going through it, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And then it's just like you have a really strong understanding of, of modeling. So I think the weakest thing is materials. And the old boiler shows me that 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 might not be the case anymore. Um, this was a year ago. So I'm really curious as to what the texturing is gonna look like on the weapons that you're building for your uh, journey project. They'll be um, soon, I think. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a, a much free time. Yeah. Uh, so, mm. is there, do you have any specific questions? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't ready for that. I, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you I heard me know. ask the last three people if they had any questions. <laughs> <laughs> or you, would, you were running. I, I was I, I was sitting <laughs> with my child and uh, watching your stream. Uh, and Oh, my gosh. Uh, playing with, with him. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> At the same time. I don't know what it is, but stories like that are so nice to hear. <laughs> It's it's weird, but it's also like, it's 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 so human and nice and cute, you know, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's some people that watch the stream while they're having dinner, and their whole family sitting there watching. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like no wonder I can't cuss on stream anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. I so I I think it's it's materials is where where your weakness is because like, dude. Your hard surface stuff is is super nice. Oh, I didn't even go through here. This is substance stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's was uh, designer studying. Yeah, <laughs> Sandy was just eating and watching. I think uh, it might be worth. Um, hmm. I think some of these. This is actually a really nice approach for the rust. Is just getting the chipping and the smooth attributes in there. That's really nice. Just because it helps explain the surface a little bit more. It's not just rust, you know. Um, mm -hmm. You you could probably post those individually out here. Just to fill the, the portfolio a little bit until you uh, start dropping some new new stuff in here. Because, like, I, I always kind of get iffy with people post... Put, uh, putting work in progress stuff on their portfolios. So it might be like, if this is, if you put all the materials out here, you could probably combine all of your work in progress stuff. If it's all for the same thing into a, into a single post. Mm -hmm. um, but dude, it's like with this vehicle, like the shot that you have for the thumbnail for that is, is pretty good, but it's when you get into this detail, when you zoom into that type of stuff or like the undercarriage of this vehicle and the extra spare tire under there with all the straps and stuff, dude, make that your thumbnail that so many people will <laughs> click on that. Cause they'll be like, what the hell? They'll have to click on it. Okay. But, um, I get it. Yeah. I, I think, um, there's an, there's an interesting movement that's starting to happen on art station. I think, uh, Alex Beddoes did it. Um, let's see. Alex Beddoes did it, and he was copying someone else as well. ZBrush Sculpts. You see this post? Uh, no. Uh, you'll see it shortly. Because <laughs> I think you're <laughs> you're watching the stream, right? So you're a little delayed behind mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So uh, Sabrina is doing this, and that's where he got the idea. But essentially, all of the ZBrush Sculpts, he's going to post in here. Oh. So it's almost like an album that's live if that makes sense. So it just keeps going. So every time he adds a rock, he's just going to throw it in here. Instead of doing a new post or doing a blog post, he's just going to put a zebra sculpts thing in here. That's a cool idea. Yeah, and I'm starting to think that's going to that's going to just happen. And uh is it Bri Brigel in chat? He's like, "Will people go back and look at that?" They might not, but the people that do go look uh 
maybe not go back and look, but the people who look at it for the first time will see so many, they'll be like, dang, I need to follow this person. Um, the other thing is it allows you to put something that maybe you blog about, like your work in progress stuff. You could make a thumbnail that's like representative of a project that's ongoing for a long period of time. Uh, you could put a blog about it and then just post, uh, while the blog is something that's new, it links back to that thread of just those art posts, right? Mm -hmm. So you could be blogging about what you're working on and then just have a thumbnail that it all goes into as it keeps going. Uh, so that, that could be one way to approach, uh, having work in progress in the, in a art station portfolio, preferably what I would like to have art station do is to take everything that, uh, like when you start a project, let's say you start this, this, uh, this prop, um, the oil boiler or the old boiler, let's say you start it and you're like, this is a project it's tagged as a project and it's work in progress in the blog and it's live. And every time you do an update, it posts just like in the challenges. And then once you're quote unquote done with it, it turns it into a post that links back to a blog. So it would turn into a final post that pings to your portfolio, but then that portfolio post also links back to the work in progress thread that you built in the same format as a challenge. I, I don't know why that's not there yet or like, cause it would get more traffic to art station. It would have us show a little bit more about what we're doing. And then it would also integrate work in progress into art station in a way that it's designed to be instead of people putting work in progress in their portfolio directly. Um, sorry, that was very long winded, but it was basically just saying, put all of your work in progress, either in your blog or in a single post. <laughs> um yeah other than that i think uh thumbnail framing like the, the the material sphere i think is not actually centered and then the uh there's just some there's some close-ups on the props that get really close to the edge of the frame and it's either like get them away from the edge of the frame or zoom in so far that it's like you're really focusing on something particular mm -hmm. um but yeah no i i I look forward to seeing some of the new stuff that you're talking about because it sounds like you're you're kind of going all over the place with the, the characters and the weapons and hard surface stuff. And um, focusing on materials is the, the main thing I would look into. But yeah. Excuse me, can you repeat? Uh, focusing on the materials is probably the, the main thing that you could work on. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Just the material because, definition. Yeah, go ahead. Because uh, I was... Um... For four years, I have texturing only ships, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, that that's why the rust is so good. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Dude, crazy. Well, do you have any other questions before I I, I jump away? Mm, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you do, I made that chat group. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you do before the, those groups will eventually close. But if you have any questions or there's links that you want to share with anyone in there, just drop it in there. Okay. And uh, yeah, but no, it's super cool, man. And I appreciate you, you waiting. Uh, cause, cause the reviews were actually quite long between each one and it just added mm -hmm. up to, uh, we're about 22 minutes over the normal stream time. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, I've seen the schedule today and uh, um I, I was like oh shit i was <laughs> I, I i will be in office in this time <laughs> oh man I, I i i don't know i need to i need to rush i need to leave to now <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 it's definitely was like that I, oh man <laughs> i i said to my i said to my lead uh, i'm going to i'm going home <laughs> nice. I, I've I've directly see, affected see. your production at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, no, dude. I I look forward to seeing more from you though. It should it should be really cool as as you start to be able to drop some of your other stuff from from teams that will let you show your work. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, if you have any questions, just poke me. 
I'm always, can... my DMs are open. And yes, I've just shot at my own foot with that comment. But it's okay. My DMs have been open for five years now. So, <laughs> <laughs> but cool, man. Okay. Yeah, let me know if you need anything. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Thank <laughs> you so ya. much. Yeah, no problem. Bye, Jeremy. Bye. See ya. Oh, man. My, my DMs.